Uh, I'm Bonnie. I'm Stacy. I'm Eileen. And we are Red Wine, Red Heads in Real Estate. And today we are here visiting our dear friend Mylene. Um, she has a beautiful home in Northbrook and has some uh, beautiful features we wanted to, to, to show our, our audience. Um, and uh, I'm going to give you Maybe my... Maybe this thing behind us. Yes! Yes. It's called um, Mine Wall. And it is gorgeous. And you know, these are things that you may consider doing to, for your house. Um, if you're considering selling your house and you want to improve it, um, have something unique about it, this is definitely unique. Um, turn it over to Mylene to kind of give us a little background on how the wine wall came to be. So, um, my husband always wanted his whole life a fish tank. <laughs> so, when we redid our first floor, he said, I really need a fish tank. So, they created the space and took out some pillars and made the space for a fish tank. So for like four years, this was a big, like, I don't even know how many gallon fish tank. But over time, there were scratches on the glass and the fish were, were going through some dying spouts and we had someone come clean it every week and it just kind of got to be a big pain in the butt. So we asked our builder, uh, what, what else can we do instead of just getting rid of the whole thing? And he said, why don't you make a wine wall? So in so that was your builder's idea? Yes. Okay. Because we were asking them, what should we do? Should we just get rid of it? Should we, you know, fill it? Because it used to be a wall. And right. And took the wall down. Right. To put the fish tank to in. To put the fish tank in. And so when your uh, builder came up with that idea, did he know how much you like wine? He did. Uh, well, he is a, he's also a friend of ours. So okay. So I had a good idea. Got it. Okay. How much we like wine? Um, but we like anything in alcohol. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we do like wine. We all like our wine. Yes. So, yes. Okay. So when we um, designed it, uh, we actually wanted, I'm a big white wine person. So when we designed it, normally they just have, a, it's like room temperature right. uh, red wine. Sure. But because, okay. it, because the components were built for like temperature and electricity and whatever, we were able to make, put in a cooler on one side. So one side is red wine, that kind of room temperature, and the other side there's a cooler for our white wine to keep it cold. Okay, that, maybe, that is ingenious. Yeah, so maybe you can show us a little bit about how this works. So um, there's two doors here. Okay. Open they open up. Awesome. So you can just pick whatever wine you'd like. Okay, um, and so little, this is the red side. Yes, this is the red side. Okay. And it's not, there's no cool, but there are lights. And this okay. side has a vent um, and a cooling unit underneath. Um, underneath yeah. used to be for the aquarium, used to be all the water and stuff, but now it's all like a cooling mechanism. So That's amazing. Yes. So we have, you know, any cool wine in here. So it's white wine, rosé, bubbly, okay. sparkly. And um, yes. That's how uh, And the lights. Yes, the lights. So we have the lights originally for the fish, um, but we kept the lights in for, uh, just for decoration. So I don't know if you can tell, but the lights are changing. Ooh, so festive. So yes. Nice. So you can have um, different colors, you can go okay. fast and slow. And yeah, so you can just pick a color, you can have it scroll as fast as you want. So we just thought we'd keep it for the wine wall, just to have a nice cut touch. Okay. You know, it's I, awesome. I think it's, it's really important to say how uh, you took something, you know, and repurposed it for something else. And so, you know, a lot of people do things like that in their house. They make something, choose something, decorate something. Right. And it doesn't go as planned. And they're like, now we're stuck with this thing. Right. But you did not let that deter you. You, you know, able to take the lights and the, the you know, all the cooling system that was already built in there and turn it into something even better. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. And it's all glass, so and you can see the wine from both sides. It's like it kind of makes the room look like bigger, airier. Yeah, it's definitely. I've never seen this in anyone else's home. Have you? Uh, I've only seen it in restaurants. Have you, Miley, seen it in anyone? No, I've not. Only in restaurants. So you are a uh, a unicorn. A unicorn. I am a unicorn. Or I was gonna say a trendsetter, or what? Is, what is like Christopher Columbus like? I get discover. There's another word for that though. Like, pioneer. Pioneer. Yes. 
pioneer. You are a pioneer. So, you know, sometimes you have all this wine and you don't know where to put it. Right. You don't have enough space in your refrigerator or your cooler or your wine rack. But right. now we have plenty of Right. And you can wine. see what you have. Like, yes. So clear. Yes. Well, that's really cool. Now, when you put this in, it's obviously very specific. So, did you, what was your discussion with Alan about? Okay, if we put this in, did you discuss at all resale value? No. Okay. We typically don't do anything for resale value. We just do it we for do yourself. what we want for Good. ourselves. Okay. And, um, you know, no one, I don't know anybody who would want to take care of a bajillion gallon fish tank. Right. <laughs> That's a lot of maintenance, and not everybody likes fish, you right. know? Except so, the one, there is probably, you know, yes. there are some people that would love it, but then you, your buyer pool is a lot smaller. Yes. yes. And it is a lot of maintenance. Yes. A lot right. of work. And you expensive. Know? Yes. Yeah. So this is no maintenance. That's right. Other than to fill it. Although sometimes, like in the summer, when I'm, when, uh, I'm having some ladies over, mm -hmm. and uh, when Alan gets home from work, he'll say like, oh, because there's like four bottles missing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh so he uses it's it as a, little, a, yes. as like a, Keep oh, my wife has had these many bottles. Yes. yes. So now okay. I've learned to like what I have to like fill. Right. <laughs> right. And then you told you said you told him, right? That this is not that's yes, not the purpose. It's not the purpose of the wall to keep track right. of how how many times I entertain or how many bottles we went through. It's not your it's not the purpose. Let's say my lady was up selling her house, right? And we were helping her and we had this. I would use that to our advantage, wouldn't you? Of course, of course. She has many, many Fine features in her house. That, of course. That set her apart from anybody else. Right. Um, this would definitely be like a star. This would this would tell me that have have like a broker's open with wine and of course to, yeah an open house open, even, even, yes. an, even a twilight open house yes. with wine. Oh. I guess the message is people should do what they want with their homes. Yes. Because there's there's always going to be a way to market to yes of course. Person. That would also be interested in that feature. I completely yeah. agree. You just have to be smart. You have to have smart yourself. Yes. Correct. And I think this is a perfect segue into our tasting for the day. Yes. 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 Provided by our good friend, Mylene and her wine wall. So the wine we're drinking today, it's um, called Fatty Pope. And it's actually... Um, Distributed or made by Fabio Viviani, and he's like a top chef on both that cooking channel and stuff. Okay. He owns two restaurants in Chicago, Sienna Tavern, oh. and um, some other tavern restaurant. I forgot what it's called. And <laughs> but he has he did a um, in Highland Park. He did like a, a wine tasting and a signing. Okay. So I went to see him, and he did sign my bottle. Cool. And uh, this is a red wine. It's a red, like, blend wine. And uh, we should try it. Okay. Let's give it a try. try it yet, so. All right. Cheers. 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 You're not swearing. <laughs> I'm smelling first. I'm smelling that one. We're not connoisseurs. And it's delicious. I like it a lot. It's mm. Nice. It's very nice. Would you say it was a red blend? It's a, it just says red wine. Okay. So I do sense, sense a little fruit. It is a, it is a yes. sweeter side. You know, if it was definitely drier, we, we would think other things. But this, this, it's not, definitely not like a Morgan David sweet. No, no. <laughs> I, yeah. No, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very smooth. This would be a nice dinner wine. Yeah. Sorry, we're not really good at like, <laughs> with, the, with the wine jargon, but... Do you know what the, how much a bottle like that runs? Oh, it was like maybe twenty dollars. Okay. Oh, okay. Not expensive. At the signing, right. it was in Highland Park at. Sorry, you already said. This. Um, I think it was at Sunset. Sunset. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can probably find it at Sunset Foods if you live in the area. You know what Sunset Foods is. Even Jewel. I think I've seen it at Jewel. The Jewels. The Jewels. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So Pioneer Grocery Store. Okay. Or you can. I'm sure you can patronize his restaurant. If he yes. has two in Chicago, there are really really good and sometimes he's there so if you oh, ask if he's there you can get a picture maybe sign, say hi, sign. Sign. Oh, yes. I mean that is. so remember the fatty pope fatty pope it has a picture pope. of a pope on it it's a little chubby yes <laughs> it's fatty. a chubbed out pope 
Okay, and then one more thing we I uh, want to ask you: Who is the designer for your wall? So, um, so our designer for the wall was um, he did the person who made it. His, his name is Hogan Construction. Okay, he's out of Geneva, Illinois. Okay, he works everywhere. Um, and then I believe he got some. He consulted um, Haven designer. Um, her name is Kara. Okay, and she's amazing. And um, yeah, so you should if you have any ideas. I mean, he he comes up with some great ideas. We were at my friend's house once, and they redid their bedroom, and they didn't have room for a ironing board. Yes. Yes. So because they normally had it in a closet in the wall, and then. When they, but the, all their wall space was taken with shelving and stuff, so um, they put the, iron, the ironing board in a drawer. And that they was figured cool. it out themselves. Yeah. So you pull out the drawer and you flip over and just a little ironing board. So they're well, very creative. Yeah, we'll post a link to them, yes. to their site in the in the notes, because um, you should check it out, because it's really, they've done other things here too. But we, we don't have time today, but maybe we'll come back if Mylene lets us. Of course. Okay. Thank you, Mylene. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for, for watching, <laughs> partaking. Go uh, definitely try this wine and think outside the box when you're decorating your house. Something that yeah. you will enjoy um, and, you know, it'll be something that, that people will enjoy when you're ready to, to sell your home. Thanks for watching. Thank Bye. you. See you next time. Red wine, red hats, and